Wind, rain, and rough seas are hampering the search for AirAsia Flight 8501. More than 50 ships are looking for the A320 that went down in the Java Sea last weekend with 162 people on board. Alan Pizzi is in Surabaya, Indonesia, where the flight took off. A brief break in the weather saw another body brought ashore today, along with personal items from passengers, including a purse and a suitcase. But the window of opportunity to find the main wreckage closed quickly. There have been indications that a large section of the plane remained intact, but officials fear it may have been shifted by currents and weather. Four more coffins, the bodies in them identified only by numbers, were brought back to Surabaya today. That so few bodies have been found is seen as an indication that many of the victims may be still strapped in their seats, in spite of the fact that among the debris recovered so far is an emergency escape slide. Indonesian Navy divers are on standby if the wreckage is found. So far, none of the dozens of ships and aircraft scouring the Java Sea have detected locator pings from the plane's black boxes, and officials say it could be a week before they are found. Tu Senetioso is an air safety investigator. So the most important thing is to find the uh, area of the wreckage, the main wreckage first, then within that wreckage, oh, we should be able to find the wreckage. Search officials said they were in a race against time and weather, in a poignant reminder of how important it is to win that race and retrieve the dead, the body of Lutfia Hiati was handed back to her relatives today. When the black boxes are found, they will be held and deciphered here in Indonesia, officials say, and they promise to make the results public within three months. Jeff? Alan Pizzi in Surabaya, thank you.